Hi everyone, and this is the last match I bring you guys today. Michael Josh versus Patrick Wallace. So let's enjoy. So it's Michael Judge who gets the first frame underway. Not the best break off shot coming up a little bit short. Can obviously be a bit more pressure on each other as well, so it's generally creates a little bit of a twitchy game. But, uh, I've known these guys a long, long time. Bit of a cagey start from both players here. And that's a nice opening pot from Patrick. First chance here to Patrick and Six. let me say that was a great opening red. We were doing a little bit of filming over at Ding Zhong Wei's Academy the other day. But as Stephen Hendry said, you can play well in practice. Especially if you don't get through the ball correctly. Playing with side. It does tend to push the cue ball offline. Moving the reds. Oh, he's got too much on it. He wants to get a good white, obviously, but he doesn't want any balls creeping out either side. Doesn't want to give Michael a, an opportunity. I'll tell you what, he's played a very good shot. Said he never quite made the crucible as a player, but uh, it's second prize coming here as a referee. The other side of the table. That's better. It's not going to reach, is it? Oh. No. It does not open the reds up for Patrick, so he's just got to take his time, get the speed of the table, and gently go into them. He's played that well. And it's Michael who leads 2-1. Yeah, very good. Oh. Yep, that'll do nicely. He's on the red that's closest to the left corner. Very good. Not quite as planned. Want to hit that red a little bit fuller. That's but it needs to keep coming. Yeah, I've got to say it's been a very impressive start this Patrick. And he's he's definitely getting the through the ball, Dennis, nice and cleanly because he's Stroking the ball beautifully, as you said, Mike. He really is. Ideally, would like to stop Michael coming back to the table and play a few more shots. Nice and keep it nice and simple. Believe me, Michael will be sat in the chair, itching to pot a ball. Patrick will be aware of that. Darren Morgan in his opening frame against Lee Walker.
Oh, well, there's a problem now. And he knew straight away as he cannoned the pink. Patrick doing everything he possible. It's a good effort. I think it's uh, roughly about. A lot of the snooker guys who know Patrick. Thirteen. He just likes to pot a couple of balls with Michael. Oh. I think he tried to pot the pink there to finish with a pot. So he never got a chance. Patrick Wallace, with an earlier break of 67, has started this match in fine style and he leads. Because obviously best of five, it's the short events. So you want to get as much advantage as you possibly can. And I'm curious to see if anybody attempts it. <laughs> Michael said close as he left the table there. Slip, well, it's almost like being on an ice rink with no ice skates, where you, the white is sli sliding and slipping and pushing across. And that tends to be why most of the players, when they take that shot on, And he'll be under a little bit of pressure because Patrick had such a good start to the tournament, first frame. He doesn't really... I like this play here because it's freeing the black up. And he could have... But the black is in the open now. He's been rather fortunate there. At the moment, Michael is not quite threatening from distance. And Patrick will sense that. In fact, he didn't even attempt it. So he is going to wait till he gets... He'll be aware that he's not quite had his scoring and potting boots on yet, so he'll just try and edge his way into it, I think. This looks like a nice easy start, Dennis. He didn't strike that very well. As I said, that green's always there, but to leave a nice easy red. Accelerated on that, he never pushed the cue through there. Oh. Is he going to go straight into them here? He sure is. Oh, oh. that is so unlucky. Oh. Now have a look at this. There was a few reds in the open, but he thought I've got a good angle, and that was very unfortunate. 
It's just the opportunity Michael needs though. One. And try and start to build up some momentum. Well. Nine. Michael's at 27. 15. I think Michael will just get the, the loose balls at the moment so he can get a bit of confidence going. 16. Such a good cue action, Michael, when he... A lot of these guys want to pick the cue up for a long period of time. 22. But safely in. 24. In fact, that's not a bad idea there because 24. of the pink as it's situated. Just the slightest of angles here. Now nah, he's just taking the three points. And maybe. Michael Judge, 32. Put Patrick under a little bit of pressure. Patrick straight away removing the red off the cushion. Again, that's experience telling him that he needs all the balls on the table. So he's tapped. Well, just made sure he got the white in the safe spot and he's done that. It's often towards the end of the frame where players have got a great chance of clearing up because there's more room for the cue ball to manoeuvre around the table. And it's generally when the balls are in the most of the open play so there's less work to do. Because he didn't want to move those two reds, he tried to come off the cushion. Yeah, well played. Well, he tried to plant. Is he going to get away with this? That looks good to me. Cool. So he might have to develop a few balls. Perfect. There was always going to be the difficulty of the red near the yellow, of course, but certainly would have got him, got him right back into it. Oh. Well, that's not the best positional shot. That where's the blue? Almost fluked it. Oh, that's a nice cannon. That's a lovely cannon on the brown to finish perfect on the blue. He does need to play this for backspin, preferably. Yeah, well done. Seven. He's on the right side of the blue for the pink. That's the only. Fourteen. So now it's the long blue. Eighteen. Twenty-one. 
Well, Patrick would have thought he lost the frame and he missed a red along the cushion. But Michael Judge made a mess of his positional shot and handed the chance back to Patrick Wallace. Periods over the last 12 months. It has really has affected everybody. And we're just thanking everybody. Well, for saving lives and helping us. Centre striking. And this looks pretty good. He couldn't have played that any better. Well, a few of us did a little message last night for his mum, Una, back in Dungannon. Taking what's in front of him. If he's got an angle on the black, he could just punch it in and stun it at the bottom of the pack. This is a wonderful chance. just starting to flow now he's just starting to get into the groove not one thing I know about Michael is he's got a fantastic cue action when it's and if you lose inch or two on the cue ball you spend the next two or three shots chasing the white finish short on a ball and it puts you under pressure for the next few shots He's avoided the colours, he's played it well. Oh, it needs to pull up. Look where it's landed. Play when you sat in the chair to see what facial expressions they're pulling as the balls are getting. Put back on the spot. And Patrick nods to the referee he concedes the frame well Patrick was in there he was a bit unlucky when he went into the Reds he was now that I've got to say Dennis is the perfect break off I said this earlier Patrick has hit you've got to set the white wide though to do it and that to me is the perfect break off because it doesn't leave a pot on for your opponent oh. 
and he was up straight away he knew he'd missed that on the on the score sheet and obviously got a little bit of confidence as well so not a great deal he could have done there so oh I was just about to say he's just going to tickle in the back of the that's a good shot from Michael there difficult con to control where that red was going to go well it should have been a shot to nothing but he opened there away from the pack no he was okay it was a perfect angle no he hasn't got hold of that that's a run for safety you, you don't become number one on the world seniors rankings if you're not you've got some great players playing on this tour Jimmy White, Stephen Hendry, Ken Doherty so he's earned his place to be number one it's just tonight he hasn't quite got much Very well played. It's going to be on the green. Oh, he needs a good kiss on the pink. That's not bad. Oh, what has he done here? No, it was a shot before, he really is. Oh. He's missed the middle bag beautifully. He's played that well. Middle pocket, and that's the shot he's played, and that makes such a vast difference having the black back on its spot. Be careful he doesn't tie the pink and red up though in in the same shot. He's just tied the pink up a little bit, so you have to be careful here. 13. Oh, where's the black gone? Oh. It caught 13. the jaws of the pocket 13. and it obviously wasn't in the pocket let's have a look he's caught the jaw first and because he had to power it look see he put it onto the corner of the pocket and that's why it jumped up in the air and patrick would have been plumbing Did well there. He's trying to drop on it. That was a very dangerous shot to me. And very well executed. He wasn't comfortable and he did the right thing. He can if you look at Kyron Wilson, he's a prime example of that. Every single shot. Just to get some nice composure. Focus on delivering the cue in a straight line, making sure his feet are in the correct position. Yeah. Bottom left hand side or off the cushion, try and get back up for the reds. There's the bottom left hand side, has he got enough? Not quite. And have a look where it's oh. finished up. looks the slightly more stronger player at the moment it has to be said oh, 
and it's been uh, shaft on a queue gets thicker as it goes down so you've got to be careful the more you follow through with the queue the closer it will get towards the brown of course He might just play safe on this. Yeah, and I don't blame him. Pushing the yellow on the cushion as well. So that's a good good shot. Good thinking, that. Now there is a shot on. Not quite. Chance for Patrick. He's still hampered slightly, but I think... He's going to have very surprised there. <coughs> and that's all Michael's going to lead Michael Judge because we're 28 in it at the moment. And if he goes for this and pots it, Patrick's going to need a snooker. I might have had a go at that, Dennis, I've got to be honest. I think if the yellow had been on the cushion still, he would have gone for it, but... Oh dear, Patrick, oh. what have you done? Oh. At the moment, Patrick is... That was about the best he could do, so there's a chance here. Oh. So these... Yeah, Patrick will stay in his seat. He's conceded the frame, so all of a sudden from 2-0 in front and a chance to win 3-0. Wonderful break off again. He's got that red back into the pack. Oh, where's the black going? A great pot, but get the cue ball running a little up the table. Traditionally, you usually find that the last frame decider in a lot of matches are because they are playing for an awful lot of money. The prestige of winning this fantastic event. Well, there's a lot at stake. Nice little tap on the table, there, and he knew. Just about okay. I thought he but didn't get position. And this looks good. Oh, have a look at this one. Has it got the legs? It's a great effort. on oh. wow mm -hmm. he needed a thin contact but not that thin is this Oh. 
Well, that. Just wondering if he might be tempted because if it was tight on the cushion, he could run this. Yeah. Very well played. Brilliant. The pink's away from its spot and he's hit that too hard. He was hoping to be on the yellow unless he gets a favourable kiss. Well, that was a terrific effort. That's a wonderful positional shot there. Now, how's your luck, Patrick? It's pretty good. It's very good. To get the black back on its spot. And boy, hasn't that paid off now. Deserves everything he gets from this because really has given himself a great chance here. But you do want to be sending the white up and down the table, but he's got the perfect angle. With that much backspin on it, the momentum of it driving it forward, pulled it back and it did a lovely little banana. Okay. The yeah, ice planted. Oh, he doesn't want to be hampered, and he's not. You just push this through. Black or pink. Nicely on the black. So this black. Oh, it's played to perfection. Every credit to Patrick Wallace, he opened this. <laughs> yeah, it's been outstanding, Dennis, hasn't it? It would have been uh, a pleasure to watch this. And do you know, I detected a little smile Seven. on Michael Judge's face. But not quite like that. It's oh, no century break, but Michael Judge comes forward with a big smile and a big hug for his best friend. There was no friendship when they were out on the table there. They've produced a very high standard here in this match. And Patrick Wallace, well, he held himself together, and that was a fabulous way to close the match out with that break of 85 and he beats his good friend three frames to two and he step forward please well what a fantastic clearance at the end you said you owed this venue a better performance than you produced last summer against Darren Morgan and you delivered yeah 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 that, um uh, I spoiled some of the memories from 2001 last year because it was such a positive performance from start to finish but uh, I've put that to bed now and I'm very very pleased. At one stage we thought you might do it you know without a frame on the board for Mick but he showed some real character to come back at you didn't he? Yeah amazing um, he should have put the second frame to bed when he was in with three reds left and they were all sitting and uh, for him to, to not win that frame me to clear up and win it in the black and then start off with 36 you know a, a lesser player would have just would have been gone and uh, he showed what a, an incredible snooker player he is what a great man he is the character he showed there was amazing and uh, he was a stronger player going into the decider and i just uh, said to myself whatever happens here i'm going to be positive and uh, that's not like me and uh, it worked well that, that's what they were saying in commentary that, that you were you were really positive and when you had an opportunity to get into the pack you went for it and sometimes you need a little slice of luck here or there and uh, your your bravery was rewarded yeah, I had a great run of the balls tonight. Uh, I missed had a couple of safeties in the first two frames, really got away with them, uh, and that helped me a lot. Uh, and then you always need a little bit of luck when you go into the pack, and fortunately for me, uh, I had it a couple of times in the decider. 
you two are such good mates. There were a couple of times I was watching you round the table and it almost felt as though you were apologising to him for playing well. But I tell you what, when you were down there and it looked like you might finish with a century, he was smiling, almost willing you on. There's, there's, there's no doubt you two are very, very good friends. Yeah, but, um, uh, nobody, uh, nobody in the game, nobody in the world is a bad word to say about Mick. He's, a, he's an absolute gem. Uh, we've been friends for 25 years. Uh, hopefully, we'll be friends for the rest of our lives. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about him. I, I love him to bits, and I'm glad that we had to play first round, but uh, I feel very fortunate that I was the lucky one to win today. Well, I, and, you, and you deserved it. A bit of banter coming from backstage. Uh, any preference whether you, whether you play Dennis or Barry? Uh, I've, I've never played Dennis. My, my whole career, I've never played Dennis. I would absolutely love a game with Dennis in the Crucible. That would be you know, a dream come true. But uh, Dennis has his hands full with Barry. Uh, incredible player. Not a great guy. I've known him for 35 years since we played in the junior home at the National. So uh, it, you know, it'll be a tough game for Dennis. But uh, if he uh, brings his best game, he, he's definitely got a chance. Well, I know you'll be watching that one very carefully. Uh, enjoy a glass of orange juice tonight. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. And I know you'll be watching Dennis against Barry. And we'll see you on Saturday for the quarterfinals. I need to say one thing uh, before I go. Uh, my mum's that well at the minute. And that was for you, mum. Yeah, and Dennis echoed that as well in commentary. So... Well, Patrick Willis, he played really well. I can see on the first frame and the last frame and the third frame and fourth frame he let Michael just get a comeback but in the deciding frame he just he got the point and took the advantage then he finished the table with 89 points yes I think that's where it Nothing to say about this match. And tomorrow we will have the four more matches before the quarterfinals. That will be the match between Igor Fioredo and John Perot. Barry Bintis versus Dennis Taylor, Jimmy White versus Tony Lawless and Kendall Hutsi visits Joe Johnson. So this is the end of today. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night.